A Greensboro Watch Commander officer was shot and killed Saturday night in Greensboro. Police said the shooting happened at a Sheets located on the 3200 block of Sandy Ridge Road in Greensboro. Greensboro Police Chief John Thompson said another off-duty officer and a Guilford County paramedic at the gas station tried to save the officer. However, the officer died at the hospital. We ask for prayers for the family of the fallen officer and our Greensboro PD family, Greensboro Police Chief John Thompson said. Thompson did not release information on the officer, but did say he was an off-duty sergeant trying to stop a crime at the time of the shooting and had been in the department for 22 years. I am angry and I am sad, Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn said. I think those feelings are felt throughout this department and the city. Vaughn said it is one of the hardest things she's ever faced as Greensboro's mayor. There's really nothing I can say that's going to give the family or the officers any comfort, she said. What happened today was a senseless act of violence and we have to remember that. Search for suspects The North Carolina Highway Patrol issued a blue alert Saturday detailing a description of the suspects and the vehicle they were last seen in, but cancelled it around 7.53 p.m. according to the Department of Justice. A blue alert is issued to aid in the apprehension of violent criminals who have killed, or seriously injured an officer in the line of duty. Blue alerts can also be issued when a suspect poses an imminent and credible threat to law enforcement, or when an officer is missing in the line of duty. At the time of the alert, police were searching for two black men in their early 20s. One was last seen wearing a black hoodie, black sweatpants, black shoes and a green, grey toboggan. The second suspect was last seen wearing a jean jacket with fur, grey sweatpants and tennis shoes. The suspects were last seen driving along I-40 westbound in a black Chevrolet Equinox with an NC tag and plate number KKA4332. The car also has Hertz car sales plate on the front. Neither the police nor the mayor confirmed if the suspects have been captured. State Reaction Governor Roy Cooper provided a statement on X, formerly Twitter. I spoke with Greensboro Police Chief Thompson earlier this evening offering all available state resources to catch those who killed a Greensboro police officer. Our prayers are with the Greensboro police and family and loved ones. Every effort must be made to apprehend those responsible and bring justice in this tragic situation. The Wake County Sheriff's Office provided a post on both Facebook and X in solidarity with the Greensboro Police Department expressing their deepest condolences to the police department and Greensboro community. Lieutenant Governor and gubernatorial candidate Mark Robinson said his office is ready to assist the Greensboro Police Department in any way they can.